Okay, okay, okay. Ladies, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I, I know. I understand. I get it. I know. I said I was done with Pokemon Go. I said we're not opening anymore. I got that Charizard, uh, shiny whatever, and I said that's it. You know, I bought. I got my fill of Pokemon Go. There's nothing else I really need that isn't worth like two cents. But we have more of it. Why? I'll let you know in one second. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Here it is. All there. Right. Okay. So why am I opening more Pokemon Go? I said I was done. I said I'd never open any more of this, uh, but I found out, and I think a lot of people also probably took note of this, because uh, I can't stop seeing the posts about it. They want it gone so freaking bad. Walmart is selling these tins for $10 a piece. Ten ooh. Oh, what happened? Walmart. You seeing that? You seeing that cameraman? Oh, God. The poor corners. Anyway, yeah, they're selling them for 10 bucks a piece for these tins. That's four booster packs of Pokemon Go for like freaking two and a half dollars or something. That's nuts. That's nuts. And you get this big old stack of promos. And you get some codes. You get some st stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? Look at look at this. These are like chunky stickers too. I don't know if you can feel this paper. It feels thick. I mean, Snorlax is bent to shit, and that you can't really do anything about. But man, it's it's great. You get codes for potentially free things in Pokemon Go. You can get incubators. You don't have to spend two dollars on an incubator for no reason. It's great. It's great. And look at all these look at all these Go packs. Look at all these. Um, <laughs> why are they $10? Well, I think they printed a lot in that big wave, and then everybody bought their ETBs, and everybody pulled exactly what they wanted out of their ETBs, or, you know, at least enough out of, like, a few of those, and then all these, like, lesser products just kind of sat there, because there's no reason. The chase is over, there's, like, seven cards in the set. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. All right, that's funny. That's funny. All right, we're gonna get these stacks going. Yeah, there's like a few cards in the set that are really worth it. But in my personal opinion, I think the cards that are in this set that are cool are really cool. But there's not a lot. I do agree. I get it. I get everybody's frustration with this set. I get everybody's boredom with this set, especially watching people open it. There's not a lot of variants, right? It's it's the same seven or eight things, and like the chase cards didn't really blow up in value. They kind of stagnated because everybody kind of pulled a lot, I guess. I have two of the Altar Mewtwo things. And they're worth like $20, which is surprising because it's Mewtwo and it's a really cool looking art. Isn't that crazy? But uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the reason I bought it... Oh no, I don't know where to put the reverses. Uh, uh, duh, in the middle? Middle, sure. Um, the reason I bought it is because A, that's a really good deal and that's cheap for booster packs. And it's just fun to open stuff. And uh, the other reason is because it was kind of making me nostalgic. Because I'm so excited. I'm so happy we're back. Like first off, like... Glad that if you really are strapped for cash and you want to pick up some cheap stuff, this is great. You could have a lot of fun with this. But second, like, this is bringing me back to, like, when I first started opening again in, like, oh, God, what, what year was it? What year was it? It was, like, 2018, 2017? Like, early time of this channel when Saray and I were really going hard opening stuff. All we were doing was going to Walmart and we were buying the Shining Shining Legends. Shining Legends, yeah, the, the set with all the baby Shinies and the Test Tube Mewtwo. They had them bundled up in two packs for like dirt cheap for nothing, the, for the price I paid for this. So I'm like, you know what? Pokemon Go right now, everyone doesn't care, doesn't give a shit, they just wanna get rid of it. I'll buy it up, I'll have a great time. I don't mind if I could pull some cards cheap that I think down the road might get exciting. Like, I don't wanna say this is gonna be Evolution's level of excitement, but like, I could see down the road people being really hyped for, for Mewtwo or reminiscing on Pokemon Go as a whole and wanting to open this stuff. Or like you have the really fun Bidoof card that I still haven't pulled for you guys that you could freaking peel. You have all the starters as a shiny Pokemon. Everybody loves that. Like everything about this set has good things in it. There's just not a lot. And when this is everywhere and people are buying it up, they don't care. But I feel like in a few years from now, we're going to look back very fondly on Pokemon Go. That's my call. That's my That's my hot take even though I think it's a toss-up this year. I'd love to run a poll. Maybe I will if you go follow me on Instagram. Maybe I'll run it there. What was the worst set of the Sword and Shield era? And I think you'll probably get a lot of people saying either this set or Battle Styles. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't really think... I think everybody's really over-exaggerating those. I think the worst sets are definitely Rebel or Darkness. I'm more excited to get Battle Styles because there's at least the threat of some really cool alt arts and everybody forgets that that was the start of alternate art cards and when this one too i love pokemon go so i want the cool gold cards and the trainers everything in here is really cool for me i think rebel and darkness really just have nothing nothing unique and fun about them 
it's really in that era where like rainbows were still the coolest thing, you know? <laughs> Three times. Three times. Okay, I rest my case. <laughs> This is more fun. This is more fun. I could open 17 Rebel Clash packs and maybe get, like, I don't know, a full art nonsensical thing I don't care about. <laughs> Two hits. Two hits, and it's the freaking me too. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. See, like, uh, this is what I'm talking about. I will say Rebel and Darkness do have those fun few shiny cards that are worth, like, $2 that you can just pick up super easy. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is better. <laughs> this is so much better. Oh my god, you're freaking kidding me. <laughs> That's twice on the channel I pulled it, right? It has to be right now. Oh man, really, otherwise, nothing at all. This is all just duds. Are we mostly down? Yeah, we got like one of these tins left. <laughs> I think I've pulled like, man, yeah, because I pulled the Mewtwo Rainbow. I don't really have much of, I, I don't even know. I want the Conkelder, actually. I know he's like $3 and I could just exchange a Mewtwo for like five of him, but like, I just, why, can't, how is it that hard for me? Why can I only get the Mewtwo? Oh, this is great. See, already already paid itself back, I think, with the Mewtwo. And the Blasters. That should be 30 bucks, right? I think I, yeah. I paid for what I got, and I got to rip a bunch of packs, and I got codes for Go. Everything's great. I will say once those codes expire for Go, it's going to be big sad. But uh, we're not quite there yet, so it's okay. So-so oh, Squirtle. Yeah, <laughs> love So-so. Bidoof. Magikarp. I really hope I didn't pass the rippable thing. Charizard. But I guess I will go back through the reverses later and see if I missed anything. I have been going kind of fast, and I feel like talking in a heat. But, uh, yeah, no, this is... Oh, God. I love it. I love being able to find bundled discount stuff on shelves. I just love that they don't care about Pokemon anymore, and I could just sop it up without having to try to go online and find the newest box. Oh, this is great. Like, granted, they're not doing sales on, like, good-selling moving product, but, like, I don't know. I think these packs are underrated. It is a specialty set. Like, this and Shining Fates, like, both are really fun to open, despite, like, the monetary gain. Because who cares? I just think it's fun to get some fun, cool-looking cards, and this is the set to do it. And I don't feel that way about Darkness Ablaze or Rebel Clash. It's, it's pretty boring. It's a dry desert there. Can we get one last thing to end this off? Absolutely not. But who cares? Because <laughs> the only hits we got were both freaking bangers and two of uh, the coolest cards in this set. <sighs> recap <laughs>